Good morning. Uh, today I decided to unbox this uh, Minnie Mouse box for a 10 to 14 year old girl. Um, I did a set of themes for 10 to 14 year old girls in a bunch. I did a couple Minnie Mouse trolls, a couple mermaids, um, some Star Wars. What else did I have in there? I can't remember what other characters. Um, I'm kind of going and trying to get all my themes that I had planned um, done here before school starts. So those were just some of the 10 to 14 girls. I also did some five to nine boys. I'm kind of working my way through the age groups. So when she opens it up, this is what she's going to see. Uh, the picture inside the lid is actually a uh, cover off uh, some stickers. And I just cut off the part that said stickers and then made so her hands went over the edge. I thought that was kind of cute. Oh, I wrote God Loves You with Sharpie. This chalkboard activity was kind of a last minute addition. It does go down flat enough. It just tends to bounce up when the rubber bands aren't on. So this is chalkboard uh, with stencils and chalk. It's a Dollar Tree activity. Um, I realize chalk might seem a little young for a 10 to 14, but I think she'll still enjoy that. And then she has a Minnie Mouse Poppet. Um, most of these Poppet toys have been on clearance at Walmart throughout the summer. I've been waiting on the Encanto and Minnie Mouse ones, and they finally went on clearance, so I, think I paid a dollar for that. And then she has a couple of these little... What are they called? Sumsums? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, a Mickey and a Minnie. And you can find these at Dollar Tree right now. Which I know $1.25 seems a bit much for such a small stuffy. But they are adorable and I know most of the girls in this age range like this sort of um, anime or Japanese, I guess, inspired toy. So I had one of each, just so she can play with those little cuties. Let me scoot this back. Um, she has a Minnie Mouse. It's an ornament, but inside there is a uh, figurine. So hopefully it's Minnie. I imagine it's Minnie. And I just put the whole thing in. Kind of, I needed something to take up a little of space, and so I just the whole thing so she can have fun unwrapping it. Uh, some underwear and I didn't have a shirt in the right sort of colors for this so I'm giving her a pair of leggings. Uh, these are child size extra large 1416. So she has a pair of leggings for her clothing item. Uh, there's some fun socks. They're Disney. If you... It took me forever to figure out that the little candies are actually making Mickey Mouse heads. Eh, isn't that funny? But I don't know if she'll notice. It took me forever to figure that out. Uh, we have a super pinky bouncy ball. I try to find those at Dollar General. I'll also buy them off Amazon. But if I'm going to find them on Amazon, I make sure I'm not paying more than a dollar or not a whole lot more than a dollar knowing that I can find them at Dollar General occasionally. Um, some online want to charge you like 250 and it's like no that doesn't make sense. Uh, she has a fidget spinner, a little pink organza bag, um, this is Barrette, and then three pair of earrings pink and white and then she has this fun necklace in here um, that has these hearts in the chain. So it's just a little choker, but the hearts are fun. I think it's cute. So she has some jewelry. I like to put jewelry in the big girls and the middle. Uh, school supplies. Picked a red pouch, um, red scissors, uh, pink pencil sharpener with hearts on it. 
She has some pencils, pens. Oh, I forgot the Minnie Mouse pencils. Ah, I gotta go downstairs and get Minnie Mouse pencils out of my stash. I forgot I had those. Glue stick. There's a thing of washi tape in there. Um, pink stripes. So lots of school supplies, some erasers, a couple little hair bubbles, some barrettes, an elastic hair tie. Although I suppose it could be a tight bracelet. Magic towel of Minnie Mouse. It's the same style as her Sum Sum guys. These were on clearance uh, here in July, August of 2023 at Walmart down to 50 cents. Um, you can find them all the time at Dollar Tree. They have all sorts of characters if you're looking for something extra for a themed box. That's a great place to look. Um, here's some Mickey Mouse socks. If you can tell that's Mickey on there. A hat, just because I wanted something else pink. So, baseball hat, some ribbon, a snatch up ribbon on the after holidays sales. Um, this one seemed to go well with the colors in this box, so in it went. Have this little coin purse. Um, inside the coin purse I've stuffed some little things just for a fun surprise. So when she opens it up, there's another little poppet toy. There's a kaleidoscope keychain. My grandparents had a metal one of these when I was a kid and I always loved looking at the designs. Some needles, just cause. And the coin purse actually came with a little mirror. It's a tiny little mirror, but it works. So that's in there. And that I got from Nair, I believe. I got a whole bunch of them. She has a puzzle from Dollar Tree. I like their character puzzles. Um, this one's a hundred piece, which I usually save for the older kids. It does say six plus, but uh, yeah. Inside, because the box has got so much extra space, I've stuffed her un more underwear. So there's one, and there's one. Oh, and I also put some, I forgot I had this cord. Um, this is just from Christmas, clearance, red and white stripe, heavy duty string. But it's kind of fun. I mean, I imagine she'll find something to do with it. Some colored pencils, checkers. The checkers are from Dollar Tree. They're magnetic. It has instructions too on the back. Got some flat things down here and I spy her toothbrush tucked in the back. Alright, so she has a red toothbrush and a nail file. And she has these cross scratch arts. There's the stick in there and a couple of strings that they hang by. Those are from a multi-pack from Hobby Lobby. Do you believe? Yes, Hobby Lobby. Um, some stickers from Oriental Trading. These ones are churches. And then some stickers from Nair. They're meant to be teacher stickers, I think, because they say like A plus and things like that. But I liked the colors. Nice and bright and fun. Note from myself uh, with my email, my Facebook, and this one has my P.O. box. I kind of stopped with the P.O. box. I haven't got much mail that way. I get most of my responses via Facebook. On the back, it says God Loves You, written in a bunch of different languages. Um, you can find this graphic on joywithpurpose.com. Um, so if you're interested in that. And then my church lets me photocopy them. Minnie Mouse coloring book from Dollar General. And then a fun notebook with these shimmery rainbow stripes on it. I thought that was fun, even though it's not really in the same color scheme as everything else. I like it. So that's there. 
So that's what I have here for this uh, girl age 10 to 14. Kind of a simple box, but I think she'll have fun. It has all my usual. It's got something for school, something to wear, something for hygiene, something to love, something special. What's the other one? Something for school? Something for school. These are the Australian list of six. Um, and I will go downstairs and get those Minnie Mouse pencils to add to what she has. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below. And thank you for watching.